What is up guys? So as of today, Guilty Gear Strive is finally out for everybody on PC and on PS4 and 5. And uh, for a lot of the new players coming in, I'm sure it's a little bit daunting. Where should I start? How should I actually learn the game? So obviously there is a tutorial, but it's pretty bare bones. What you're going to find is that most of the really in-depth knowledge for the game is going to be in the mission mode. So if you haven't gone to the mission mode yet, there are these five areas that basically the missions start out easy and get harder. And these are going to teach you some different things. So what I'm going to go through today are five of the missions that everybody should do. If you want to play this game, I'm going to list out some of these that I think are mandatory. Whether you're a new player or a more experienced player, I think these will teach you a lot. Obviously, if you're first starting out... I would recommend that you do the castle in the forest. These are really simple. These are just going to be the castle is the controls, what the different buttons do. And then the forest is like the mechanics, like air dashing, supers, dust, that kind of thing. Uh, but for the more complicated ones, let's start going through some ones that I think are basically necessary here. The first one we're going to look at here is hit confirming. So in case you guys don't know, the idea behind hit confirming is you visually check, did my attacks hit or were they blocked? Use your eyes, and if they hit, you're going to cancel and finish your combo like that. But if it's blocked, you're going to stop the combo or do something else like go for a throw or something like that. And this is one of the most important concepts for all fighting games. This is absolutely something that you need to know. So, this might be a little bit tricky at first. It does take a little bit of reactions to be able to see and recognize quickly. But once you get this going, this is going to make you a million times better player. I guarantee it. So, make sure you do the hit confirming. There's also hit confirming in the air. This one's a little bit trickier for sure. But, again, if he gets hit, you're going to finish out your combo. If he blocks it, you do not have to. You're just going to end it so that you can keep the pressure going and not make yourself unsafe. So that's hit confirming. Do that one for sure. Next up, ones that you really have to do are the Roman cancel ones. So Roman cancel is a universal mechanic in Guilty Gear. And in Guilty Gear Strive, there's actually four types of Roman cancel. Red, yellow, purple, and blue. Depending on when you press Roman cancel, you're going to get a different one. So make sure... You know, you learn how to Roman cancel so you can extend your combos and that kind of thing. Yellow Roman cancel you can use while you're blocking so that can get you out of the opponent's pressure. Purple Roman cancel you can use to cancel the recovery of an attack. So if you do something unsafe or you see that you're about to get punished for something, uh, you can purple Roman cancel the recovery and then block. So blue Roman cancel is probably the most confusing one. This is what happens if you Roman cancel when you're not doing any attack or anything, just in neutral. And what this actually does is it slows the opponent down, but you can still move at full speed. So you can see normally this combo doesn't work. 2K into standing slash does not work with soul. But because the opponent is slowed down by the blue Roman cancel, he takes more hit stun, and so that combo can work. You can also use blue Roman cancel when the opponent is getting up. So then you can see in slow motion what are they doing on wake up. Are they going to do a reversal or something? And you can counter it. So blue Roman cancel has a lot of applications, but it's a little bit confusing and probably the one you're going to use the least, at least when you're starting out. And if you want to get more advanced with Roman cancels, there's two more Roman cancel ones in the five-star area. There is the dash input Roman cancel, where you press the dash button right before you Roman cancel. So there you can see you can combo off it because your character will dash forward. You can also dash backwards or up or down or anything. So you have all four directions of control. So this one is really important as well. This is going to make a lot of your combos work. And then in my opinion, this is kind of the coolest thing that you can do with Roman cancel in this game. The game calls it a Roman Cancel Cancel, which I kind of hate that name. Everyone on Twitter just calls it a Fast Roman Cancel. And the reason it's called that is because by uh, quickly inputting a move, you do a Fast Roman Cancel. You just do it really, really fast. So you can see it comes out way, way faster because you're canceling the recovery of Roman Cancel with a move. 
And you can do some really absurd and busted stuff with this. Like you can use it to set up command throws or like high low mix ups. So this is a pretty advanced mechanic, I would say, but generally it is just so useful to get that fast RC that is going to unlock a lot of potential once you get a little bit further in the game. All right, next up we have another sort of hit confirming one, but now we're not just hit confirming, we are counter hit confirming. So we're not just paying attention to whether the attack hits or not, we're paying attention to whether there is a counter hit or not. So this only combos on counter hit, not on normal hit. So we are waiting for the big screen shake and the counter text to pop up and that's how we're hit confirming. So there's going to be a lot of stuff like this for the characters. If you want to really optimize your damage, you are going to have to counter hit confirm. So do that one as well. Next up, a whole set of ones that I would recommend you do in the four star and the five star. There are going to be matchup tutorials. So if you're having trouble with a specific matchup, they're going to tell you a couple of moves that that character can do that you'll be able to punish. So I think a common one that people have trouble with is uh, this Giovanna move. You can pick whatever character you want. Like, let's go with Chip. Okay, so it's going to tell you that you can interrupt this attack, land an attack before it comes active. So that move is plus on block, so you don't really want to block it. So instead, you're going to have to find something that interrupts it, like 6P, or I think even like you can jump and hit her out of the air, or air throw I think might even work. Let's see. Yep, see? So uh, stuff like this exists for every character. So it'll teach you a few things that will help you defeat people who are playing a character that you're having trouble with. And then the fifth and final mission that I would recommend you do are going to be the combos. So there's no dedicated combo trial mode in this game. Instead, there are combo trials interspersed throughout here. And each one, you're going to be able to pick the character you want to do. And it's going to show you a combo for that character. So it starts really simple with just a simple Gatling combo. But they get more advanced later on, like in the four star area, it shows you how to do a Roman cancel combo with your character. So just pick whatever character you want and it's going to show you a combo. Uh, and don't forget that if you're having trouble, you can always look at the sample where it'll show you exactly what the combo is supposed to look like. And so then you should be able to figure it out and be able to do it yourself. And you can work your way through to get uh, to the more complicated ones. So these five star ones for your character, a lot of these are going to be pretty hard. So let's take a look at this Axel one here. And this is going to be a wall break combo as well. I believe all the combo fives are wall breaks. That looks pretty tough. Let's see if I can do it. Eh, hey, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Maybe I edited out a few attempts, but we got there. So. Yeah, definitely these aren't going to be the most optimal and perfect combos that people are going to find. You're going to have to go to Twitter or YouTube for those. But to get you started, to get some good bread and butters, I think these are going to be pretty useful. And again, they are available for every character. So whatever character you're interested in doing, you can find some pretty good combos there. But with that, we are going to end the video. Again, there are a ton of missions. I don't think you have to do them all. There's just so many, but I think if you start out with the basics and you do these ones that I told you about, that's going to set you out on the right path if you are a new player. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're interested in more instructional content for this game in the future. I'm curious what you guys have to say, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.